a rare and exceptionally powerful bomb cyclone is battering the United States and the situation is about to intensify. A dangerous winter storm is already unleashing blizzard conditions across the northern tier. While a significant ice storm is producing treacherous impacts across much of the northeast. And this system is far from finished. Another foot of snow remains possible today across parts of the Midwest, the Great Lakes, and the Northeast. While additional freezing rain threatens to worsen ice accumulations in the Northeast, at the same time, a sharp and aggressive cold front is sweeping across nearly the entire country, plunging temperatures to their coldest levels in more than two weeks. Even after this bomb cyclone departs, the pattern stays active. Additional snowfall and more winter storms are possible heading into January. As a favorable jet stream configuration supports, fast-moving clipper systems capable of delivering more snow across the northern tier. In today's forecast, we're breaking down exactly what you need to know about this bomb cyclone and the storms lining up behind it. As we move into early 2026, and we'll start with the bomb cyclone itself. For those unfamiliar, a bomb cyclone occurs when surface pressure drops by at least 24 millibars within a 24-hour period and that exact threshold has been met over the past day. Pressure has rapidly collapsed from around 1,000 millibars to roughly 975 millibars as of this morning. Snow is still falling across the Great Lakes, including cities like Chicago and Milwaukee meaning some of you woke up to fresh snowflakes today. This snowfall is generally light to moderate now. As the heaviest snow has shifted north into Canada later this morning and into the early afternoon, the storm remains extremely intense across the Great Lakes and the Northeast, while much of the snow and rain is exiting the United States. Two critical elements are not going anywhere, bitter cold air and powerful winds. Wind gusts of 40 to 60 miles per hour will persist through much of the day across the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and the Northeast. On top of that, Arctic air continues to spill southward from Canada as a strong cold front surges toward the Gulf Coast. If you haven't noticed much of a temperature drop yet, you will today as this front pushes eastward. And as we head into early Tuesday, you might think the conversation about this storm is over but it's not. Intense lake effect snow will continue impacting the Northeast, while another Alberta clipper drops out of Canada, delivering an additional one, two, three inches of snow across portions of the Midwest. Meanwhile, this low pressure system will reorganize and strengthen again over Canada. That matters because the jet stream is expected to remain locked in a Northwest flow for an extended stretch likely around five days. While this pattern may not generate widespread heavy snow, it will reinforce a prolonged surge of very cold air across the northern plains, Midwest, Ohio Valley, and Northeast. In short, winter isn't going anywhere in these regions. In contrast, ridging will redevelop over the southern plains and the desert southwest driving temperatures higher and suppressing shower and thunderstorm activity through at least midweek. As we approach the end of the week, however, attention turns back to the southern plains, where a new storm system may begin to take shape. The exact evolution remains uncertain, but the GFS model suggests showers and thunderstorms could develop across the southeast on Friday, potentially bringing a risk of severe weather. Looking ahead toward next weekend and early next week, uncertainty increases further. However, signs point to the west coast becoming active again, with additional strong storms pushing inland, bringing the potential return of winter weather and even severe weather. The good news for now is that no major winter storms or widespread severe outbreaks are expected this week. At least nothing on the scale of what we just experienced, as for today, snowfall will persist across the Great Lakes region, with snow squalls likely. These could reduce visibility to less than a quarter mile at times across Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Light snow may even extend into Kentucky and area that experienced strong storms last night.
Later today and into tonight, additional snow will fall across upstate New York and along Lakes Erie and Ontario. By tomorrow, conditions begin to calm somewhat. With lingering lake heath bands that are far less intense than minces what we're dealing with today, in terms of additional accumulation, most of western Michigan can expect another 3 to 6 inches of snow, with isolated totals reaching 10 to 11 inches in far northern Michigan. Across the Ohio Valley, including much of Ohio, impacts will continue as winter tightens its grip. Across central and northern, Indiana, even into eastern Kentucky wheel at least see snowflakes flying today. Widespread accumulation isn't expected in these areas, but a light dusting to around an inch of snow is certainly on the table in spots. Farther north, near Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Snowfall will be more persistent, with several additional inches likely over the next 24 hours, as we move into Tuesday. Attention turns to areas just southeast of Lake Ontario where a solid burst of lake effect snow is expected. Some isolated locations could see totals approaching 1 to 2 feet by the time this event wraps up. A similar setup will develop south of Buffalo, creating two distinct zones where significant lake effect snow could pile up over the next 48 hours. Ice remains a major concern across the Northeast. The ice that has already accumulated has been substantial with amounts nearing half an inch in parts of New York and New England. Additional freezing rain is expected during the day today, especially across central and northern New Hampshire, Maine, and portions of central and northern Vermont. Many of these areas could pick up at least another tenth of an inch of ice, making road conditions extremely hazardous. Any untreated surfaces will be slick and the risk of power outages will continue to increase. Another widespread hazard today is wind. For much of the eastern half of the country, it's going to be blustery from morning through night. Wind gusts are already running 40 to 50 miles per hour across much of the Midwest. And as we move into the afternoon, winds will strengthen further across the eastern Ohio Valley, the Mid-Atlantic, and the Northeast. Parts of Pennsylvania and New York could see gusts reaching 50 to 60 miles per hour. Wind advisories are in effect from Texas all the way through Ohio. So expect a very windy day across a large portion of the country by Tuesday and Wednesday. Conditions will begin to calm somewhat. While it will remain breezy through the end of the year in the Midwest and Ohio Valley, winds won't be nearly as intense by Wednesday and Thursday. Now let's talk about temperature trends over the next seven days. Right now, below average temperatures dominate the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley, while warmer air is beginning to build along the West Coast. As we head into tomorrow and Wednesday, cold air will continue to rotate around the powerful bomb cyclone positioned over Canada. That means if you're in the Midwest, Ohio Valley, or Northeast, Chilly conditions will likely persist through at least Wednesday and Thursday, and Thursday in Kansas, where temperatures will rebound more quickly by Thursday and Friday. Another surge of cold air is expected to sweep back into the Northeast. Meanwhile, warmer air will expand across the Great Plains, Ohio Valley, and Southeast. That warmth could provide enough fuel for a potential severe weather setup sometime around Friday or Saturday in the Southeast. Should that storm system fully develop? Looking ahead to next weekend and early next week, there's the possibility of a return to record-breaking warmth across the Great Plains and Midwest. Eventually, a different and more active weather pattern may settle in closer to mid-January. As for right now, these are the current feels-like temperatures across the country. Much of the Midwest is experiencing wind chills ranging from 10 to 25 degrees below zero. There's a sharp contrast along the Appalachian Mountains, with temperatures in the 50s and 60s along the East Coast, while just behind the front. Wind chills plunge into the teens and single digits across areas like Kentucky. That surge of cold air will push into the Mid-Atlantic and Southeast tonight with temperatures dropping sharply in cities like Atlanta. 
Charlotte, and Washington D.C. by Tuesday morning. The cold air will be firmly entrenched across the Northeast. Then by Wednesday and Thursday, additional reinforcements of cold air will keep the northern tier locked in a deep chill especially across Minnesota, Wisconsin, and much of the Northeast. Warmer weather will begin to return to the southeast by Thursday and Friday, but it won't push much farther north until Sunday or Monday. That's when we could see a surge of much warmer air reaching back into Illinois and Missouri, potentially flirting with record-breaking levels once again. As always, thank you so much for watching today's forecast. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe below. Our next update will likely be on Wednesday, but if the weather becomes active enough, you may have another video sooner so hit the bell icon to stay notified with the latest updates. Thank you guys, see you next video.